Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. This week, we're visiting Italy. And, God, I do love doing stories from the Italian peninsula. It, it reminds me a little bit of my grandparents every, every time I read one. This first story is a short one, but a sweet one. And it comes from Thomas Frederick Crane's collection of Italian tales. This is... The Parrot. There once was a merchant who had a beautiful daughter, with whom the king and the viceroy were both in love. The former knew that the merchant would soon have to depart on business, and he would then have a chance to speak with the girl. The viceroy knew it too, and pondered on how he could prevent the king succeeding in his plan. He was acquainted with a witch, and promised her immunity and a large sum of money if she could teach him how to change himself into a parrot. This she did, and of course the merchant bought him for his daughter and departed. When the parrot thought it was about time for the king to come, he said to the girl, Now, to amuse you, I will tell you a story, but you must attend to me and not see anyone while I am telling it. Then, He began his story, and after he had gone a little way in it, a servant entered and told her mistress that there was a letter for her. "'Tell her to bring it later,' said the parrot. "'And now listen to me.' "'I do not receive letters while my father is away,' said the mistress, and the parrot continued. After a while, another interruption. A servant announces the visit of an aunt. It was not an aunt, but a woman who came from the king. The parrot said, Do not receive her. We are in the finest part of our story. And the young girl sent word that she did not receive any visits while her father was absent. And the parrot went on. When his story was ended, the girl was so pleased that she would listen to no one else until her father returned. Then the parrot disappeared and the viceroy visited the merchant and asked his daughter's hand. He consented, and the marriage took place that very day. The wedding was scarcely over when a gentleman came to ask the girl's hand for the king. But it was too late, and the poor king, who was much in love with her, died of a broken heart, and the girl remained the wife of the viceroy, who had been more cunning than the king. And that is the Italian folktale of the parrot. And again, it comes from Thomas Frederick Crane. And this is a theme that one sees throughout Italian folklore, which is it doesn't matter how rich or how powerful you are, it is better yet to always be cunning. And in this instance, we see that the viceroy in his cunning ways, gets the girl, where the king, with all of his money and power, cannot buy his way into the girl's heart. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you'd like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening.